大家好 ，Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Wei Wei, and today we're talking about ten lucky foods that Chinese people like to eat during the Lunar New Year, since food plays a central role in the celebration. Let's get started. So dumplings are probably one of the most iconic Chinese dishes, and in Chinese, it's called jiao zi, jiao zi. So one of the reasons why we eat jiao zi for the Chinese New Year is because dumplings jiao zi look like yuan bao, which is Chinese ingots. Yuan bao, which is an ancient form of currency in China. Jiao zi symbolizes wealth and prosperity, and that's why we eat them for the New Years. There are many different types of jiao zi. For example, there's zhu ro jiao zi. Zhu ro means pork. Zhu means pig. Ro means meat. So pig meat is pork. Zhu ro. There's also ji ro jiao zi. Ji ro is chicken. So ji is chicken. Ro is meat. Ji ro. And beef dumplings. Niu ro jiao zi. Niu means cow. So niu ro means beef. And then we have 海鲜饺子 seafood dumplings. 海鲜 means seafood. 海 I means sea. 鲜 is the umami flavor. If you look at the character of 鲜 carefully, you will see there's two components. There's the fish radical 鱼 There's the character for sheep 羊 The ultimate umami flavor is by putting fish and lamb together, which sounds a little unusual. But xian is how we say umami, so hai xian seafood. And then often we would also mix these different meats with vegetables to make jiao zi. So shu cai is vegetable, shu cai. And most of the jiao zi you will see out there are made out of flour dough. But there's also egg dumplings where the wrap is made out of eggs, and that's called dan jiao. Dan jiao. Dan means egg. So, for example, chicken egg is ji dan. There are also many different ways of cooking dumplings. For example, you can boil them. Shui jiao. Shui means water, so you cook the jiao zi in water. Shui, so shui jiao is boiled dumplings. Shui jiao, you can also steam them. Zhen jiao, zhen means to steam. Zhen jiao, 我最喜欢吃蒸饺 Steamed dumplings are my favorite. 我最喜欢吃蒸饺 And then most people really enjoy pan-fried dumplings, and that's jian jiao. Jian means pan to pan-fry. Jian jiao. 你喜欢吃煎饺吗 Do you like pan-fried dumplings? And then you can also cook dumplings in the soup. Tang jiao. Tang means soup. Tang jiao. 我最喜欢吃海鲜饺子 So amongst all these different types of dumplings, my favorite is 海鲜饺子 seafood dumplings. The next dish is also an iconic Chinese dish: spring rolls, 春卷 The tradition of eating 春卷 spring rolls for the Chinese New Year goes back a long way. 春卷春 means spring. 卷 means something that's rolled up or to roll up. So it literally means spring roll, just like jiao zi, chun juan. Spring rolls also come with a variety of fillings. You could fill them with zhu rou, pork. Juan xin cai means cabbage. Juan xin cai literally means rolled up hard vegetable. So juan means to roll, xin means hard. Cai means vegetable or dish, which is a good way to explain what cabbage looks like. Juan xin cai, and then we have bai cai, which is Chinese cabbage. Bai cai, it literally means white vegetable. Another common ingredient in the Chun Juan is feng si glass noodles. Feng si. So feng si are noodles made out of beans, and they have a very special texture, and they are a great vehicle for sauces and and seasoning. 
And in China, people typically deep fry their spring rolls. So the word for deep fry is jia, jia chun juan. Before we go to the next food item, if you like my content, please subscribe and check out the description for more ways to support me. 谢谢你 thank you. Another important dish for the Chinese New Year is rice cake, 年糕年糕 So 年 by itself means year. 糕 by itself means cake. So it's literally year cake, and we call them rice cake because it's made out of rice. So the reason why we eat 年糕 for the Chinese New Year is because 年糕 sounds like 年年糕 which would be great for a child who is growing because it means every year gets taller. 高 means tall or high, or you could interpret it as every year your achievements get higher. So either way, it sounds like a great thing. So that's why people eat 年糕 And there are two varieties of 年糕 It could be both 甜 which means sweet, 甜 It could also be 咸 which is savory, 咸 And there are many different ways of cooking it. You could 煮 boil them, or 炸 deep fry them, or 炒 stir fry them. The main ingredient for 年糕 is 糯米 Which is sticky rice. Nuo means sticky. Mi means rice. So nuo mi is sticky rice. So the texture of nian gao is also sticky because of the sticky rice. Another dish you will find at every Chinese New Year dinner table is a plate of whole fish. Quan yu, quan yu. So quan means whole. Yu means fish. And the reason why we eat fish for Chinese New Year is because yu sounds identical to yu, which means surplus in the phrase nian nian yo yu, which literally means year year has surplus, which means every year has surplus. So it's another auspicious food to eat. A classic whole fish dish is hong shao yu, which is red braised fish. So hong means red, shao means to braise, yu is fish, and the reason why this dish turns out so appetizingly red is because of its key ingredient, jiang yu, which is soy sauce, jiang yu. Another popular dish that people make for the Chinese New Year is bao yu, exploding fish. This is especially popular in southern China. Where I'm from in Shanghai, my parents would often prepare bao yu for the Chinese New Year. It literally means exploding fish, because during the process of making this dish, a key step is to deep fry the fish, which would cause the oil to splash out at you. So it's a quite dangerous process, but the result is really worth it because bao yu Has the nice crunchy texture of a deep fried dish while retaining all the amazing、uh, flavors of the sauce that you simmer the dish in afterwards. So, 我很喜欢吃鲍鱼 I really like eating 鲍鱼 exploding fish. So another meat dish that you often see at a Chinese New Year's dinner table is 鸡肉鸡 again is chicken, so chicken meat. And the reason why we eat ji for Chinese New Year is because ji sounds like ji. Ji means auspicious, like in the phrase 大吉大利 very auspicious. And of course, there are many ways of preparing chicken. So you could fry it, 炸鸡炸 means to deep fry. So 炸鸡 you could also roast it, 烤鸡 Cow ji, or you can make it into soup, ji tang. Also, chicken provides us with many parts to eat. You could eat chicken wings, ji chi, chi means wing, so ji chi chicken wings, ji jiao. For many Westerners, chicken feet, ji jiao, might be a more unusual part of chicken to consume. Jiao means feet, so ji jiao chicken feet.
It does have a very unusual texture, and a lot of people think it would increase the collagen production. So it has a beautifying effect, and a lot of people also like to eat ji gu tou, ji gu tou, chicken bones. Gu tou means bones. 我最喜欢吃鸡翅 Now my favorite is chicken wings. So 我最喜欢吃鸡翅辣味 Preserved meats are another common dish to see on the Chinese New Year's dinner table, both for the practicality of having meats already preserved and also the great flavors that they bring. Because people often start preparing for the Chinese New Year well ahead of time, and preserved meats are a great way to get a lot of food items ready, but also ensure that they won't go bad. La wei. La means to preserve, to cure. Wei means flavor. La wei means all kinds of preserved meat products. So one of the most popular ones is the Chinese sausage, la chang, la chang. Chang by itself also means intestine. So it's a pretty graphic way of describing what the sausage is. So la chang, preserved sausages. Also la rou, preserved meats, la rou. So this roe could be 猪肉 pork, or 牛肉 beef, and then we have 辣鱼 preserved fish. 辣鱼 If you go visit a Chinese person's house during the New Year's, you will often see oranges around the house, and that's because 橘子 oranges are another auspicious food in Chinese culture. 橘子 are technically Mandarin oranges. And the reason why they are lucky is because 橘 just like the word for chicken 鸡 also sounds like 鸡 which is auspicious. In addition to its lucky pronunciation, oranges also give us plenty of vitamin C, which is important to boost our immune system. So why not eat them? 我很喜欢吃橘子 I am a big fan of oranges, so I like to eat it very much. 我很喜欢吃橘子 Another common fruit that people will buy for the New Year's is 苹果 which is just apples. 苹果 and then 苹果 is lucky because 苹 in 苹果 sounds like 平 in 平安 or 平平安安 which means safety. 苹果又健康又好吃 Apples are healthy and delicious. 健康 means healthy. 好吃 means delicious. 苹果又健康又好吃 One of my favorite desserts to eat for Chinese New Year is 八宝饭八 is the number eight. 宝 means treasure. 饭 means rice. And it's more of a Southern New Year tradition to eat 八宝饭 for the New Year. Why we eat 八宝饭 is not only because it's delicious, but also it's got eight treasures. That just sounds super lucky. So the main ingredients for 八宝饭 is 糯米 sticky rice. That's what the rice is made out of. 糯米 Also, since it's a dessert, we need to put a lot of 糖 sugar 糖 in it. And then, in terms of the eight treasures, there are many different versions of things that you can put in it. But in most versions, we have lianzi, which is lotus seeds. Lianzi, hong zao, red jujube, also known as Chinese dates. Hong means red, zao means date. Hong zao, also gui yuan, gui yuan. Guiyuan is longan. It's a type of dried Chinese fruit. Guiyuan, and it's also common to find pu tao gan, which is raisin. Pu tao gan. Pu tao means grape. Gan means dry. So dried grapes are raisins. Pu tao gan, and then all kinds of gan guo nuts. Gan guo. So with all these wonderful ingredients, it's hard not to make 八宝饭 a decadent dessert during the Chinese New Year's. So another iconic dessert for Chinese New Year's is sticky rice balls, tang yuan, tang yuan. So tang means soup, yuan means round. So it literally means soup rounds, 
And the reason why we eat them is because the round shape of sticky rice balls symbolizes family reunion, and that's a huge part of the Chinese New Year. The main ingredients for tang yuan is nuo mi, again sticky rice, and also tang sugar. And then you can put different fillings in it. Hei zhi ma is a popular choice. Black sesame. Hei means black. Zhi ma means sesame. Another one is hong dou sha, which is red bean paste. Hong is red. Dou sha is bean paste. So hong dou sha. And then you can also make savory versions with meats, rou. But I personally prefer the sweet ones, tian de tang yuan. Not only do people eat tang yuan during the Chinese New Year, it's also a signature dish during the Lantern Festival, which comes right after the Chinese New Year, Yuan Xiao Jie. Yuan Xiao Jie, we also eat tang yuan. During the Lantern Festival, we also eat tang yuan sticky rice balls. So, with all these delicious options for the Chinese New Year. I hope you will get to try and enjoy at least one of these items mentioned in the video. 谢谢你 Thank you so much for watching this video. 再见 I'll see you in our next one.